on tape. Yeah. Tape it back up. What happened? What happened? Well, this is round two. Round two, fifth one. <laughs> All right, so I am at the good Home Depot. These people here are awesome. Both managers that I dealt with. Um, this lip manager, her name was Simone, nice lady. The last time I dealt with a manager, her name was Sophia, nice lady. They completely understood my situation. I wasn't bullcrapping them, and they and I was surprised at how cooperative they really they were. I, um, I have to say thank you. I got to do something for them because it's just, I don't know, maybe something. It's just awesome. I'm very grateful that they understood the situation. They understand how many times I've been to a store and people have just given me the absolute runaround. And I got tired of getting aggravated, so I don't even fight back anymore because I'm just, this time I was like, you know what, well, if they didn't take it back, what was I going to do? Just leave it in there and just make some videos about it and if I had to buy the part or whatever, or contact Toro, or maybe they would do something, you know, eventually somebody would do something, but they, they completely understood. I even had a video. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't lying. So, but they didn't have to see it. I showed it to them anyway. They couldn't believe it. They didn't, they didn't want to see it, but I, I showed it to them because you know me. But, um, wow. And there's something else I got to show later. Some more electric lawnmowers. Wow. So anyway, I'm going to go home. Round two. See if I could do another open box. I don't know if I'm going to. Here you go. So this is now the fifth one that I would physically own. But here we go. This will be another uh, unboxing round two. So let's see what happens. I might just open it up right there. I'm not even gonna bring it in the garage. Let's just open it up right there. Come on. Here we go. Brand new from Home Depot. So if you were to buy this, this is what you would experience. Lift it up. Okay. Lift it up. See, that way you don't break nothing. Okay. Now, take this off.
I'm doing, I'm doing nothing different than anybody else would do. See? See, that is what, right there, that is not broken. Tighten these. All right, as you can see, <clears throat> this one looks to be okay. I checked it over, it's all good. I'm just tightening the handle so I can pull it out, and you can see this. So, the unboxing is starting over again. Here we go. So good so far. to be okay so far. Okay. Tires are nice and new. So here we go. They've done some some changes. I noticed that these are recessed in a little bit different. I don't know if this is made out of metal nail. First of all, I think it always was, but you can see the weld. The paint jobs are not so great on Toros in the bottoms. I've noticed that. So I bought a spray. I'm going to spray this so I don't have to clean it as much. These look like they've... Um, they look a little bit more heavier duty than the last one I had. Maybe they've done some improvements. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't seen it in a long time. But it looks a little more thicker. So here you go. All your parts are new in there. Tires are new. You got to watch these break a lot. Um, if it drops like this on the trailer or whatever, or you hit a couple bumps, these will snap and you just got to buy a new one. This should be metal, but they're not. They're plastic. So this is metal. This is metal, but this is not. So keep in mind, this might snap on you. But overall, I mean, it's good. Nice tires. The tires look a little more beefier than from the original one I had. So uh, this is a 21. I mean, it's identical. There's nothing really has changed other than this. This piece, I remember my very first one that I had, I had to buy this piece separate. So this is in there now. This has been out for a few years now. But see this paint? This paint's actually a little bit better. The last one I had, I just power washed and the paint came right off. So let's see if this one holds up better. But I am going to spray this one, so... Everything's running good. These you gotta watch. These are a little cheap. These will break on you, but it's not too bad for now. It's good, so I got a little bit of high hopes. I think they made this out of aluminum now. I don't know, it's a different color. My other one was gold. So yeah. looks like we're all good here. Yeah. Got your air filter here. Nice. Get your gas. Put that blue thing in there, which I hate. Yeah, that blue stuff down there—I don't know what it's for, but it's a pain to fill up. Um, you have to actually almost like push it in with the nozzle and push it back out, so you know you're going to get more fuel in there. So that's just the way it works. So anyway, I did see somebody actually sp actually spray painted these um, black. It looked kind of cool, but I kind of like the gray because of the Husqvarna has the gray. But um, I'm going to take the other one. I'm going to take all this stuff off. Okay, see that's right there. That's not on, so I gotta fix that. Not a big deal. 
So the plugs inside, bag, you got to put that together, paperwork. This is the top piece that comes off, screws here that take this off so you can inspect the belts. Get your oil right there. So, um, huh. Oh, there you go. I thought there was a problem. There's the washout. Now, see this one, the washout is actually in the bag. The one that I had before, the washout wasn't even in the bag. So it's in the bag. Owner's manual. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put some oil on it. I might fire it up. I don't know if I have enough time or not. There you go. Of course it wouldn't be mine if something wasn't wrong, so the handle was just popped out of its slot right there and I fixed it pretty easily. But so far that's the only thing that's wrong with it. So far so good, so I'm liking that. So, sit back and watch the rest of this and you'll see me putting it together. This right here is your blade engage. You push this in, this is your actual blade. This is your self propelled right here, this, as you push it it walks with you has another arm that goes in like that as you push it goes like that so there's your off you have to actually hold this in for a few seconds till you hear it actually shut off i wish they just had a toggle but it still works so keep in mind over owning this over the years they all do this right here where the wires come in here going back and forth they'll, it'll snap so i'm probably going to put something there to fix that i'm probably going to put like a uh, maybe a pvc piping or something around there to fix that problem myself this will end up breaking, so keep in mind this, this will just pop off over time, but for right now it's brand new, so it's good to go. Here is your plug. Now this has two settings. There you go, that's another setting. It's all the way down, but this, this wire gets in the way, see? See, you could already get pinched. It already got a little pinch. That's down even lower, so you're like this, you can get under bushes. This is your normal. That's your normal. And that wire, it's a pain. And then right here this is your bagging area this is where your plug is it's a little bit of a pain to get out it's a little thing you got to push down but this why they still have this i don't know but that's what it is right there you go of course This is your side chute. Now keep in mind, this is okay for going forward, but when you go backwards in high grass, this actually flops off. So keep that in mind going backwards. You put that in there like this. These little holes right here will grab those little teeth like that. And it'll hold it. So see if they'll see if they fixed it over the past. So all the old ones I had, when it go backwards, this would just pop off. So. stronger they could have done something as simple as made that hook a little stronger maybe we'll see if that's changed it looks like this being silver I don't know if it's a different type of metal that makes it stronger because I know these used to break um, it has a spot here for a reinforced well but they never put it in there you usually put a rebar in a piece of bar in there but they don't put it on this level so then you got your bag now you do have to you have to snap these in like this take that off so you gotta snap these in like that up and over yeah. I'll get the rest of it off later I just want to show you I'm not the most, I'm not the most agile with doing this. Looks 
what's nice is you can actually keep this plug in there if you need to, it just to, to, to carry this. It's got to be in there right or it won't go. A little tab here and a tab here where this goes in. Just like that. And yeah, see, this still gets caught up like the other ones did. in the way that works. Let me show you this. See that right there? That's too pinches since I just bought this. They still haven't fixed that problem, so I'm going to fix it for them. How they attach this to right here, I think I'm going to I'm going to cut that off and let it run free because it's getting snagged in here. I don't like that. And I'm going to tie it up over here maybe somewhere. Or try to put something so it comes out because every time it goes up and down this wants a pinch right there so these work there you go there you go see now what happens every time is this gets weak and it'll break so what i might do is i might look for the price of that and just go ahead and buy one just so i don't have to wait around if it breaks on me but because i've had these already years i know what breaks so, this is nice. I mean, got a little more spring than I remember. So I'm gonna put gas in it, oil. I don't know if I'm gonna cut the grass or not tonight. I might save this for you guys tomorrow because I do wanna put that spray in there, so. Thanks. That's the unboxing. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below and what you wanna see with this. And I can show you the problems that you will come across if you ask me, I'll tell you exactly what goes wrong with this thing. It's nice, believe me, this is a nice mower. But it's not a mower that you can trash around with. It's a very delicate mower. Um, you have to baby it. So take care of it, it'll take care of you. And we'll see. I don't know if they made it stronger, but if they made it stronger, that'd be awesome. I'll buy another one. But this one it was the second one that I purchased brand new. Three that I bought. Fifth one that I've owned. Let that sink in. So. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it. It's brand new. I like it. A year from now, will I like it? I usually don't like them after a year, but I'm not going to use it as much as I used to. So it'll go up in the trailer up on the side. I'm going to use it. I got a lot of yards that I used to use this mower on. That's they're going to customers are going to be happy to see this mower back because they really like the way it cut. So thank you. Stay safe. God bless. Take care.